Uh, now let's get ready for our next uh, quarterfinal matchup and see who else will be moving on to the semifinals. Ladies and gentlemen, our second heat in the men's tournament. To my right, in the blue lane, the number five seed, Josiah Pipel. And to my left, in the red lane, the number four seed, James Sanella. Sen City athletes. Will, are you ready for Sen City versus Sen City? Oh, 100% af Alex. Both these men are capable of going fast on this course, and I'm excited. And they're both very explosive athletes as well. James was doing corkscrew front flips off of the tower yesterday. So Josiah going the backwards route. That's what he was doing yesterday. Not yeah. the fastest technique, but it does give you a little bit of a rest Ooh. on your arms, I guess. Both, both men going for the spin. And, and Josiah explosive out of the boardwalk. James has to do a little bit of catch up now. Josiah. Oh, close grab there. He grabbed it uneven. James with an excellent out. grab. Now James got to build up his swing for that transfer as Josiah finishes the boardwalk and now finishes the rooftop rumble. And James is going to run right into zigzag. Josiah opted to take his break. And that means that if James Sinella gets through girder faster, which it looks like he is on pace to do, oh, Josiah is going to have to beat Monstro Climb. And there we go. And indeed, James, James yeah. is a little bit faster. Now, both men were able to complete the Monstro Climb yesterday in our closed qualifier. So I expect this to be decided on the rope. But we'll have to see both men opting for that full, what appears to be the full 45 second break after a just explosive start from both of them. I've just been confirmed in my earpiece by Ninja Works that James got there first. So he's going to have a slight advantage here if they were to both fall. Correct. And, and Josiah, some... knowing that, is going to go first. James had one of the smoothest techniques I've ever seen here on Monstro Climb. The 180 going for twists all the way down. Yeah. And Josiah has just destroyed this obstacle. Yeah, very interesting, different techniques. But they both get through Josiah, like you said, a little bit faster. And now we have a race. Josiah has patented this kind of slide technique on his inner thigh. James, James going with a more traditional yeah. route and Josiah with the edge on the rope. James looks like he's scrambling a little bit to try to catch up. How that much Josiah... energy does Josiah have left in the tank? Oh, this is the, this is the he's difficult. He's leading by a length. He's got two or three more pulls. He's going to make it. It looks like it's going to be Josiah. But here comes James Sinella. Oh man, Josiah's Josiah's at the buzzer. He's Josiah. got it. Yes. Josiah Pipel with an incredible win. And James finishes just short of Josiah. An excellent run from both these men. I... And not only that, 217 out of Josiah, just one second slower than what Noah won with. We talked about it in the pregame show. And there's another splash from James Sanella. Unfortunately, he's eliminated. And that's the last splash we're going to see from him this weekend. Josiah taking the win by just about 11 seconds. And more importantly, we were talking in the pregame show about maybe he was holding back. He was just one second slower than Noah's winning time in the close qualifier. Oh, that was an impressive run. A definitely a run to show the rest of the competitors that whoever faces him is going to be in for a bad time. And I have bad news because that person is no Munir. Oh, boy. <laughs> that is going to be an incredible semifinal match. <laughs> 